Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this video is going to be all about the nightlife event which hit the game about last Tuesday which is quite a few days ago and everyone's been going crazy, been going crazy for this jackpot item, the Gamorrean bodyguard and as you guys can see I did end up getting it, I got really lucky and I'll explain to you guys a little bit later about the details um, of how I got that. But basically the nightlife event, I'll give you guys a quick tutorial right at the start for anyone who is new to the event because it's only been in the game twice so far and the first one was a long time ago. I actually didn't even participate in the first one. Um, I didn't really know what it was and so I didn't spend that much time on it. But this time around we have some really cool rewards. Here's one of the jackpot mounts you can also win. It looks kind of uh, reskinny and stuff but it has a nice flourish and it's an ex exclusive mount. But the main reward here is a Gamorrean Companion. And the way the Nightlife event works, I'll give you guys a quick tutorial, is you have two tokens here. Uh, you can pay the big bucks and get the Kingpin token for 75,000 credits each, or you can buy the Smuggler tokens for 2,000 credits each. Now, I went ahead and paid the big bucks because um, I have lots of credits and I didn't really have the time to do the Smuggler tokens. So, Bioware got me on that one. I, I, uh, it was a pretty big credit sink. I spent a total of 20 million credits, and, but I did end up getting the Bodyguard, which is um, all I really wanted from here. If I jump into my legacy, we'll see I, I got most of the rewards. I got a ton of gold certificates as well. Uh, to be t uh, um, totally uh, specific, I paid about 20 million credits on Kingpin tokens. And then I would go to these slots here and I would just uh, use them to get the buff. And then once I got the buff, I would go to the normal Kingpin uh, slots and try to win the jackpot item. And I got like 50 gold certificates. I got the Gamorrean Companion and I got that Vectron mount I showed you guys earlier. So I got basically all the rewards. But I do believe the average, if you do it that really expensive way, like just buy Kingpin tokens, uh, the average you'll spend is 45 to 50 million credits. So I got pretty lucky getting it at the 20 million. But if you want to do the cost effective way, here you go, here's the feeling lucky buff that you're going to want. And so you can just buy the smuggler tokens for 2,000 credits each, uh, very, very cost efficient. You go to those tokens, you play them, uh, you will get the kingpin tokens and you will get the feeling lucky buff. And then you can come here to these um, uh, kingpin um, slot machines and you can play to try to win some big stuff. As you guys can see, I just got a gold certificate, which is the normal drop you're going to get from the kingpin tokens. And I'll show you guys some of the kingpin slot machines. They're getting all the terms mixed up. And I'll show you guys some of the what the what some of the really cool rewards that these v vendors offer because um, uh, if you don't end up winning the jackpot, you can still use these gold certificates that you get for some really awesome decorations. Uh, so as you guys can see, we have some dynamic underworld ceiling lights and I'm going to buy them all and preview them uh, at the end of this video, but just to quickly run through some of these because uh, they added some really cool stuff. These are all actually interactable. Um, is that the right word? Yeah. You can interact with these decorations and they actually have some really cool animations. Here we have the gambler's mic stand and they have these decorations actually just floating around this general area. Uh, this is the coolest one, the gambler's party floor. I'll show you guys what this looks like because it's just absolutely awesome. I mean, this is kind of like the highlight. Here's the mic though. Uh, so it's an interactable object. You can click on it and your character will start singing. And the cool thing is that little disco ball shows up at the top as well. Now you do have the sing emote obviously. So anyone who has that emote unlocked will basically have that anyway. But um, it's a cool decoration nonetheless. And here we have the gambler's party floor and each square you click will allow for him to do a, a different dance for like 15 seconds. So it's a really cool decoration. Um, you know, props to Bioware on that one. Okay, so we'll jump back here and we'll see some of the other cool rewards. Uh, we have the Kingpin's Rancor. So this was the jackpot item from the last Nightlife event. Uh, so they also have that available for quite a lot of gold certificates. We have a Nightlife Socialite armor. Now this is new, but it's just a reskin of the Euphoric Corellian. Uh, here we have a really awesome mount. This one also, I, I believe, is really popular with people. They all kind of wanted this one. It's kind of like the uh, Cartel Skiff, but um, looks very Zakulin in theme, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then going on to this next vendor here, we have the general stuff. So this is basically available usually during, well, well it was available during the last Nightlife event. It'll probably be, uh, probably be available during the future Nightlife events as well. Uh, the cool stuff here is the weapon. So we have the Kingpin Blaster, which is one of the cool ones. And I'll show you guys the Kingpin Lightsaber as well. That one's also really cool. Uh, it's really large, which is what I like about it, and it has a really kind of unique design to it, so. Yeah, other than that, there's nothing else I see here that's super cool. So you can use your gold certificates that you get from the Kingpin slot machines for any of these really cool and exclusive rewards. And then, of course, you're playing for the jackpot item as well. So I'll go ahead and buy these and go preview them in my um, uh, stronghold. But uh, other than that, yeah, so a little bit of information about what I did. Uh, so I've just, um, of course you can do it the cost efficient way as I mentioned earlier, a lot of players are doing it that way, but the thing is you need a lot of time, I mean it takes hours and it's really tedious, you just kind of sit there 
clicking the same slot machine over and over again. And um, for those players who don't have that kind of patience, maybe what you want to do is go do some heroics. I mean, honestly, what you could do is instead of paying 2,000 credits for one of those smaller tokens, go to uh, a planet's worth of heroics, get like 700k, then come back and buy 10 of the kingpin slot machines. Uh, it's sorry, 10 of the kingpin tokens, and then just play those straight at the slot machines. Uh, the reason I would suggest that is because obviously doing the heroics is going to be a lot more fun, and sure, it might be less of an output because... Um, uh, doing heroics is also time consuming, but at the end of the day, it's just a more fun way of um, of doing the nightlife event. But um, yeah, I mean, other than that, the Gamorian Companion, I just want to see if it unlocks in collections quickly. Uh, no, it does not. So that means that if you do want to use your Gamorian Companion on numerous characters, you're going to have to do the nightlife event over and over again. That's a huge... Uh, uh, pretty terrible thing. I'm trying to find like the specials thing. Usually there's a box full of um, event stuff that maybe it unlocks there, but I don't think so. It doesn't look like it, which is horrific. That means basically um, if I want to use this on two characters, I need to do it all over again, spend more credits, but most importantly, spend more time, which is uh, it's just such a tedious event. They could have made it more fun, I think. Um, in any case, let's preview these decorations because that's what we came here for. Yeah, the decorations, as I mentioned, are kind of the highlight of this thing. Um, they're kind of worth it to do the nightlife event. Like if you're not going to go for the big uh, jackpot items because they take too much time or too many credits, definitely go for these decorations. So as you guys can see, it's the exact same thing that we saw earlier. Um, you just click any of these squares and it'll activate a new dance emote. Let's try to see if we can do the, uh, the mic stat now. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Anyways, uh, so yeah, it took me about 20 million credits. That's pretty lucky. Uh, it also didn't take me very much time because I was buying the Kingpin tokens straight up and I was just playing the Smuggler slot machines to get the buff because, of course, you don't want to be playing the Kingpin slot machines uh, without the buff. There we have the mic stand. It's going to make for a really good party room, right? So definitely good for a Narshida stronghold, but really any stronghold that uh, you want to make a little room where uh, you hold your parties and stuff like that. And then let's check some of these out, because these I haven't seen before. So we have the um, the Gambler. Uh, I forget which hook this works on. I'm also not sure if this is actually an interactable de decoration, so I want to see if, if it has some sort of animation or something associated with it. It must be just one of these medium-sized squares. Um, Let's go all here and let's see. The gambler's, what was it called? Gambler something. There we go, the gambler's bar, yeah. And uh, let's see here if we can interact with it. We can, okay, let's see what happens. Um, oh, cool, so he just kind of takes a drink. That's kind of cool. Yeah, definitely, it's got one of those, um, it kind of looks like that thing from A New Hope when Luke's in the Mos Eisley Cantina bar. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool to make a room like that. And then let's check out some of these ceiling lights. I think that's all we had left. Uh, let's quickly see. Yeah, it's just the ceiling lights left now. So we'll go to a room upstairs because that'll probably be a little bit darker that we can actually see what the effect of those lights are. But um, yeah, ignore my decorating of my stronghold. I, I do not have good uh, interior design abilities so I uh, just ignore it I mean I just kind of plop down random uh, decorations in places uh, as you guys can see I just I, I usually go with one theme so that that one was my secret experiments room where uh, conducting all types of horrific experiments in the name of the Empire but um okay here we go let's check out these ceiling lights uh, so that's the dynamic blue one and we'll put up the red one here Uh, cool, yeah, so they kind of shine like this light, but they don't, it doesn't fully shine down, it kind of shines halfway. It's, it uh, provides more of kind of a cool aura, but um, let's see what happens. Okay, so you can just kind of click it on and off. Yeah, I think the default setting is on, but you can turn it off as well. Cool. Yeah, so the decorations are nice, and they're worth playing the Nightlife event for, and... Um, they also won't cost you too much. Gold certificates are relatively easy to get. I mean, uh, let's see if I can get the numbers right. In my experience, like 20 kingpin tokens will get you two to three, if not four gold certificates. If you're really lucky, you'll get four. I think everyone should get at least two certificates um, uh, buying about 20 kingpin tokens, which uh, if I get my calculator out here because I can't do mental math. 
75,000 times 20, that's a total of 1.5 million credits. So not very many credits to get some king, uh, to get those gold certificates. And keep in mind, you can also get gold certificates from just the regular smuggler machines if you get super lucky. So um, it's relatively easy to get those. Uh, getting the Gamorrean Companion was super hard. I mean, I didn't know if I was ever going to get it. Some people, uh, I've heard horror, horror stories of people who have said they've paid up to 45 million credits and still haven't gotten one. So I can't imagine like uh, how many, um, how much time they spent doing that, and how much frustration there must be associated with that. I'll go ahead and quickly check out this mount, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use my Gomorian companion in this character. Although uh, it would probably work best on a mercenary, but I also have a power tech that uh, I like to do story with, so maybe I'll give the Gomorian companion to him. But anyways, this is the mount. It's pretty cool. It also has a flourish. So let's see quickly what the flourish is. Uh, it kind of shoots these little black fumes out of the front and it uh, activates these uh, fire engine type things. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a decent it's a decent mount and it's uh, exclusive. That's kind of the cool thing about it. Uh, after this nightlife event goes away, uh, no one else is going to really have a chance of getting this mount or this companion. And then maybe in a few years if they bring the event back, uh, they'll bring these rewards back again for gold certificates. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is probably longer than what I wanted it to be, but uh, it's worth talking about this event. It's super cool. Uh, if you can have the patience and uh, it's not tedious enough for you, it can definitely be a lot of fun. I mean, just play it in between Warzone Pops if you're doing ranked or regular or uh, in between group finder queues. Like, it's a fun thing to do. At least there's something to do instead of just standing around on fleet. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.